We are basically looking or focusing on the constraints and opportunities for private sector development. So we are looking into microdata, where we are focusing on analyzing what determines or creates productivity growth in firms. And we are looking at whether this productivity enhancement, if present, is leading to job creation. There's been a lot of discussion around what structural reform South Africa requires to enhance growth, investment and firm performance. These include energy constraints or alleviating energy constraints, alleviating transport constraints, infrastructure constraints. And I suppose Workstream 1 will continue to look at how these factors actually sort of impede uh, firm performance. Workstream 1 plans to build on its previous successes by increasing the data available for research, and that would be the unemployment insurance data, better spatial data that uh, is held at SARS, uh, procurement data, Purcell da data that gives you a sense of government employees, and possibly broadband data. And I think you know, using those data sets require better infrastructure and resources, possibly capacitating other government agencies and institutions to be able to use that data for research purposes. We also hope to do more research that can enhance policy making and give you a sense of which firms actually need support. And I suppose that becomes even more important um, given the COVID-19 pandemic and its impact that it's had on the labor market and firm resilience in South Africa. We would like to increase our impact in policy circles, and we will do this by improving the quality of our research. This is in a joint combination between uh, reaching international journals, but at the same time, same time being policy rele relevant in the South African context. I think it goes hand in hand and we have a perfect team for this because we are collaborating with top policymakers at the National Treasury and at SARS. At the same time, we are involving international recognized researchers in the project.